Hi, this is Joe Ilfeld, and I'm back with another learning snack for you. So the other day, I was set up to have a meeting with a colleague of mine on Zoom, and um, I got onto the Zoom call and she wasn't there yet. So, you know, I started looking for through some email and doing a couple of quick tasks that I had on my to-do list. And meanwhile, waiting to hear the beep to let me know that she had arrived in the Zoom room. And I didn't hear the beep, but I did see an email from her saying, hey, I'm waiting in the room and um, are we still having this meeting? And of course, then at that moment, I touched my headphone and I realized, oh my gosh, it was turned off. So I didn't hear the beep because it, there was no beep. So luckily it was only five minutes that we missed of our meeting and we resumed the meeting. But we had a good laugh about how whenever someone doesn't show up to a meeting, you know, instead of being really annoyed or um, like frustrated that they're late, we're usually just like, oh, I can get a few more things done in my email, cross up some emails, get those out of the way. And it made me think about a lot of my clients. Right now, a lot of my clients are in back-to-back -back meetings, whether they start at 8 or 8.30, whenever they nine, they continue on through the rest of the day. And look, my clients are usually even lucky if they have a break for lunch. And this got me thinking about how happy we are to just have some time given back to us to actually get work done in the middle of the day. And so my challenge to you is, could you look at your calendar for the next few days and maybe pick one, two, even three meetings where you reach out to someone and you say, hey, could we connect for a quick five or 10 minutes or just send each other an email instead of doing this full 30 minute or you know, maybe even 60 minute meeting. What I find is a lot of times the content of meetings is about really five to 10 minutes and then the rest you could get back and gain time. And so I'm really challenging you to take a hard look at the meetings that have been scheduled and see the agendas for those meetings. First of all, do they have agendas? And second of all, do the agendas warrant the amount of time that has actually been booked for those meetings? And lastly, I'm going to challenge you even further. If you're on a meeting and it's over, just end the meeting. You know, you can make a joke like, hey, well, we both got 10 minutes back in our day and just leave the meeting early. So don't feel like you need to fill up the available time with the meeting. Everyone is really happy to have some time back, especially some time back that is off Zoom, off WebEx, and off being on camera. Okay, take care and have a great week.